Danny and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. You know, as we've grown, and yes. one of us has become more of a sage old man of the sea um, with wise advice and life. Well, thank you. Thank well, you. No, I no, no, no. I was speaking. I don't like to think of myself as old. I, don't I like know to think you don't. Old. And that's part of your problem. Uh, I'm getting because, there. Because you, know, you, you there, still but... think you're 29, even though you're, what, 50? Yeah. See, I, I've embraced 52. And, okay. And, and being that wiser of the two, uh, more thoughtful of the two, uh, you're the charm in looks. We get that. You, if we were the A team, <laughs> you'd be face. Right? Oh, my God. It, which is fine. Every, every, I, everybody's got to have a cutie. Right? I was thinking myself more and more of the more of the uh, George Papard, but okay. No, that's me. Um, clearly. You're, oh, you get to be Hannibal? Okay. I'm, I'm I Hannibal thought you were with, more B.A. I I'm thought Hannibal, you were B.A. I'm Hannibal with the B.A. You were the Irish B.A. Baracus. I am. I'm Hannibal with the B.A. twist. Okay, that's gotcha. Because look, because watch. You ready? Multifaceted, yes. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to throw you for a loop. Are you ready? I pity the fool. Yeah. You couldn't even tell that was wasn't Mr. That, T. That was wow. Could you? That was impressive. All right, so seriously. Anyway, here's here's where I'm going with this. The mm -hmm. other day, um, this kid who I've known since he was little pops up on Facebook, and I get a friend request. All mm -hmm. right. So I hit I hit OK, and it'll pop up, and I'm looking through his page. He's got beer. And. Oh. We're making a little chit chat on the instant messenger. Hey, nice to see you. Good to catch up. What are you doing nowadays? And I said, by the way, what the hell are you doing drinking? It's like I'm 23 now. Oh, 23. <laughs> how old do you? Th how old did you think this kid was? I, You're accepting dude, a friend kids, request, right? From... I I don't. I'm at that age where I see a young person, and I think they're always going to be young. I I, yeah. I don't think that they've ever hit drinking age. So when uh -huh. I see them out imbibing and standing there with a Michelob Ultra with all their cool friends and doing what I thought was cool when I was 23. I'm, I'm taken aback. It's like, oh, shit, yeah. how did you get to be this old? You know, when, when did this happen? Yeah, that is an odd, especially, like, kids, you're just more used to it. Like, Max, you know, turning 13, that was a, kind of obviously a milestone. But I had nieces and nephews, you know, yeah. in their 20s, 30s, and I've got a 40-year-old nephew. So, um, you get it. It's actually he's 40. Actually, yeah, he's going to be 41. Wow. This year. So, it's just, off putting. It's crazy. Because, oh, yeah, it's it's a weird thing when they become adults. And it's even weirder when they become, although this doesn't take much, when they become adults who are more successful than you are. Oh, I hate that. Because uh, I, got, I got lawyers. I got, you know, marketing got a, executives. Dude, I've got it's, a sister that's been kicking my ass since third grade. I'm, yeah. I'm used to that. But, so anyway, last night he jumps up on Facebook again. He's like, hey, dude, how you doing? And... I was just beat. I was worn out. I was tired. It was the end of the day. And, you know, Wheel of Fortune was coming on. I got all kinds of things mm -hmm. to look forward to. So I'm like, hey, dude, thanks for saying hi. Um, I'm tired. I'm ornery. I'm old. I said, mm -hmm. got to get in the shower. Um, I said, let me give you a little piece of advice, though. I said, stay 23 forever. Because 30 years from now, life is bullshit. Everything you're gonna go through sucks. That's so stay, terrible advice. Stay 23, man. Because you're giving this young man terrible I'm being advice. With him. You're the wise old sage, and you're giving him atrocious advice. That's not atrocious. That's stay 23. That, it's a peak stay 23 reality. and don't know anything about anything. Be an idiot for the nope. rest of your life is basically what you told him. Not now, what I told I him. I understand. You want to be a kid at heart. That's fine. Dude. But you also want to mature and grow and do all these other things. And you want me to help you? I can help you out. I can help oh. you out because you, you mentioned shower. I'm telling you this. This is a game changer in your life. No. You will thank me for this. Not going to take You will shower. thank me. Dude, three-minute cold shower. No. Nope. You the It increases your endorphins by like 200%. Yeah. And it lasts for hours. Okay. I haven't even I, – now, I still should have a little bit of caffeine. I haven't had any today yet. I I went – I tried to go almost four today, and I could have done it. I was like, I bailed after about three and a half minutes. Just 
getting yourself up to do that, putting no. some real resistance, A, it's it's good for your circulation, it's good for your mental health. You look this up, if you're if you're dealing with a depression or anything, cold showers are uber beneficial. Okay. And it's a, it's in it in it it sucked. The first minute you don't want to start out doing what I'm doing right now. You start out with about 30 seconds. Start out with a 30 second cold shower and then gradually work up to it. I'm telling you, it your outlook during the day will be greatly improved. Okay. I guarantee it. Well, I'm guaranteeing this. I don't know how a cold shower is going to make me feel better about having to buy a new battery for a car or how mm -hmm. to feel better about um, the medicines they're adjusting on me or how they're trying to do this, that, or that. I think cold shower ain't going to make a difference. It's yeah, it is. No, it's not. It makes you fizz anything that, because it's first, it's going to, again, the endorphins, the endorphin rush you get from that, in addition to the, uh, what it does for your, for your circulation, it, if you physically feel better, mentally, you're going to start to feel better. Let me it's ask all, it's a combination of things. It I allows you to you deal. Something. You're still going to have the battery. You're still going to have to deal with the shit. It allows you to deal with it better. You're going to have a better mindset. Trust me on this. Okay. I want you to, I want you to be honest with me. Go ahead. Can you no longer afford hot water? No, dude. No, I take a hot bath before bed. That's a good thing to do before you okay, go to bed. I'm just checking to make sure. Hot bath. Hot bath at night before you I go can to go. Bed. I can cold go sell some plasma if you need a raise. Ice cold. Well, I do actually. I have a. I have about a four hundred dollar uh, a repair on my car that I'm taking care of today. Well, that's nothing. So I got about a I'm just eighteen hundred dollar repair on my car. Okay. And a battery for the other car. All right. Hey. And, this and isn't an oil can change. You top this. I'm just. That's and why I'm oil, telling oil, the kid oil. to stay twenty three. You know, because at twenty three. You can still look back at, at twenty three. You know what you don't have. You know what you didn't have at twenty three. What a nice place on Twin Lake with I'll a hot tub and a flat screen TV in your bathroom. What, you Dick? I, I could look back at my parents and go like this and get whatever I needed. Right? No. That was better. No, 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 no. You can't do that at twenty. You can't do that as a self respecting adult at twenty three. Come on. I, when, when have I ever had self respect? Oh Seriously. come on now! Give me, a, give me a, give me an answer on that one, I'm, Jeopardy. I don't know. <laughs> so there you go, kid. Oh, That's God. the advice. Okay. Stay young forever. Yeah. Don't don't turn into yeah, a crappy good. old fart yeah. like me. Say, say young and young and stupid. All I'm right. You know what I'm becoming? Great advice for you. I'm becoming. You're the, the curmudgeon now. I'm becoming the fat heiress. Thank you. The, the Ferris. We're gonna the start calling. Heiress. I'm gonna start calling you Ferris. <laughs> Harris lives. He's now inside Andy. <laughs> oh, my God. God All right. That, you going to do news All or what right. are we going to do? Yep. Let's get into it. China's foreign minister is speaking out against the U.S. Kin Gang. If that's I can only see your ear. Name. Put your face on camera. Oh, because I was. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Kin cool. Gang uh, lashed out early this morning at over uh, U.S. support of Taiwan, the foreign minister also claims that America is undermining efforts for peace in Ukraine in order to extend the conflict for its own benefits. Now, look, okay, is, is there more going on here than just helping out an ally? Of course, every country acts in its own self-interest. We do it. China does it. Russia does it. U.K., France, doesn't matter. We all do this. It's not all, you know, we, 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 you want to help out. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is it is it part of the whole U.S. military industrial complex and prop net? Of course. You think? That's just part. Of, that's just part of. That's just. That's part of who we are as a country. We've always been this way, and we probably always will. Sometimes to our benefit, and other times, in some ways, to our detriment. But yep. I mean, it is what it is. And in China, it's just it's. It's the height of hypocrisy, China calling anybody out for anything. It's dog shit. It's bullshit, but it is. Uh, what do you expect? Here's what I think. And, as you did your story, um, when you went yeah. through China, UK, uh, France, and all that, it kind of reminded me of the Mick Jagger, David Bowie combo on um, Dancing in the Street. <laughs> it was good. It was right on par there, man. Oh, wow. That was, well, I was. Not Martha wow. and the Vandellas. I'm talking no. the Jagger Bowie cover. Let and, me ask you. By the way. Did, 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 
Was that the best video Go ever ahead. or what? Those I'm not going to say that was the best video. Okay, it was it was a good video. It was it, fine. I don't have an issue with it. I didn't have an issue with that. I thought it was fine. Uh, let me ask you, though. Did my, when I was rolling off the, the country names, did that come off as more or less gay than the Bowie McJagger video? I don't know that more anything really could come off more gay than the Bowie Jagger video. Okay. Um, that was monumentally gay. Which is fine. Again, not hey, judging. Not it's judging. just not observing. No. Um, Observational. But that That's that, that, that for the day was like, whoa. Yes. Yeah, that was that was over the yeah, top. Yeah, it was. That was, yeah, that was next level of whatever that was. That, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> next, next level gaiety. I don't know. Uh, actor Tom, we, we glossed over this yesterday because the, the guitarist for, for Leonard Skinner died, and so Skinner's done. But actor Tom Sizemore also passed away uh, last weekend. Uh, the longtime character actor uh, known for playing tough guys and true romance, natural born killers, and saving private Ryan died on Friday from a brain aneurysm. Mm. Sizemore was 61 years old. Great actor. He, he made every movie he was in. Just like about fifteen percent better. Oh my god! Yeah, he was. He was never going to carry a film, but when he was in the movie, it was always better because he was in it. Obviously, dealt with a slew of personal issues, yeah. addiction, you name it. Um, um but I think my favorite. Just, he was uh, Saving Private Ryan. He was great. I really awesome. loved him in True Romance, though. I uh, True Romance. He was great. I think I can trump all of it. Go um, ahead. Reservoir Dogs. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting how much I like that movie because I've only seen it. It's not Reservoir one of those Dogs. movies because it was that was the Tar that was the first Tarantino movie. And it kind of gets overshadowed by like Pulp Fiction mm -hmm. uh, and everything. But yeah, it was. The, yeah, you're right. You're right. I got to go back. I got to go back and watch that. I mean, because... I bought my letter opener just to have something like the the scene with the ear. <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah. Good God. Ow. That was that was that so was... good. That was that one was of so the good. hardest scenes to ever watch in a movie. Oh. oh yeah, oh it was it was a hard watch, but it was a great watch. At the yep. same, it was one of those. I can't believe I'm watching this, and I and you can't turn away from it. Nope. You want to turn away as it's going on because it's one of the most violent. You <laughs> just it's it's so. I'm I'm wondering if Max because he's 13. I'm wondering if no. Max is old no. enough for Reservoir no. Dogs. No. He's seen a lot of that. I mean, he's seen every slasher. Well, he's seen every horror movie. There's a big difference, though, so between seen... slasher movies and... Yeah, you're, you know what? You're right. This is a little more... This is... Because those are kind of campy, and this is right. this is way more uh, way more adult and, and potentially disturbing. So there you're you. right. I'm going to... Uh, discretion, the better part of Valor there. Well, but uh, you, Sizemore, that, one see, of these again, guys... This is my wisdom coming true. Oh, good, great. Glad you were able to latch on. You're kind of like a dad with a wild hair up your ass. I'm the uh, sage old wise man. Uh, right. Uh -huh. I get it. Anyway, um, Sizemore, there's just something about be being really. He was just. He wasn't great. I would never say, but he's just really good. There's so, there's there's nothing wrong with good. You I know, think sometimes I have, we get we. It, you, I'll I give you an example. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. He had ominous screen presence. Yes. That's there was something you didn't know. He had yeah. The, the it was the pre presence great there was, presence there was an emptiness in his eyes that made mm -hmm. him ominous on screen in just about any role because he was he, always that brooding dark uh -huh. i don't give a rat's he was that ass guy. and and you mm -hmm. know what i can cut your ear off i'll be okay with that right yeah yeah so yeah and that carried over in every role he was ominous oh absolutely <laughs> absolutely and I, um, the reason I, I talk about how good he was, and there's nothing wrong with being good, is because sometimes when you have expectations for great yep. and something is just good, you don't you don't really appreciate. Like I'll get perfect example. I was really excited and uh, and it was good. Watched a Chris Rock's uh, special oh. on on Netflix. It was very good. And then the end when he when he gave it to Will Smith, that's kind of what the bill. It was all building up to that. But was it was it? as great as when I first started watching Chris Rock, it was, yeah. I liked it. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Uh, but again, when, when certain people set the bar really, really high and then it's good, but it's not quite what, you know, you wanted it to be. I don't want to say it was disappointing because it wasn't, 
But I, I did expect, I was expecting more. And, and, and again, that's probably more on me than it is on Chris Rock. But You're not the only it's one. It's one of those things. I, I read some other reviews on Facebook this morning that said that it, it just, it just missed. So, but yeah, there were, it, it was he, cause he, he has these crutches that he's, he'll re- tend to repeat stuff. I mean, the, the, it was, he, so much of it was him stalking the stage and dropping end bombs left and right. And it was funny because Chris Rock is funny. Chris Rock yeah. can't not be good when he does this. He can't not be good. It's impossible for Chris Rock to bomb at this stage. Right. He can only just be good or great. But yeah, yeah. it wasn't, it, 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 again, I liked the subject matter. It was all, that was all good. It just, it just felt like, I, it was, it was like a routine that wasn't fully fleshed out. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, maybe it needed to percolate another uh, couple of weeks or something. I don't know. Well, next up for you then, Kunk on Earth. I will, I will give that a shot. Trust me. All right. right. Well, you trust me on the cold shower. Okay. And then we'll, we'll, we'll combine the two. Okay. All right. City of City of Muskegon has reached a deal with Barry's Greenhouse to beautify the downtown area. The greenhouse, uh, which already maintains Hackley Park, will add several more areas to its work list, including Shoreline and Western Avenue. Uh, the deal worth a reported $111,000. I'm sure they're a great greenhouse. I'm sure they're going to do great things to the downtown area. Just saying, I have a. Uh, I don't want to call it an illustrious career mowing mowing lawns over uh, over these many years, but uh, I I can mow. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, let's just say hedge clippers aren't necessarily foreign to me. Okay. So I might have been able to take care of it. Hundred grand. You think? I'm not. I'm not trying to lowball the greenhouse again. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll do fine work. Well, I might have been able to do it. All I want to do is say, you know, down where you are, which is, um, what's the name of that place again? Middleville, Barry County, God's country, God's God's country. country. That's not going to salt uh, to the earth, folk. Great people, wonderful people. Yes, with most of their teeth. Um, is just cheap shot after cheap shot. It's a cheap shot. most is better than shot. some, isn't it? I'd say that's generous. Um, but here's the thing. Down there, you know, is this is this going to, if, if you were to come out here and cut the grass in Muskegon, is that going to infringe on your grow operation down there? I grow. <laughs> you know, I know you're banking things up I don't down have there. Any grow, I don't have any grow Out operation. there where the, the tennis court used to be. Huh, Dave? Hey, now, you know, look. What do you got going out there? I don't grow anything. You sure? I I may purchase things from time to time, but I do not grow anything. Just check. Sports! Sports! Portland beats Detroit. Everybody beats Detroit. 110 to 104. In what? Wings were off the Blackhawks. I said Portland beats Detroit. 110 to 104. It's soccer. What the hell do you think I was talking about? Well, I don't know. Uh, Red Wings were off. Fun. Chicago bling. Stop. Chicago blanks out of a five to nothing. That's sports. Twenty three thousand four hundred in the hole. I think today's going to be a hiccup in your in your. Uh, mm-hmm. If you know, if you were Matthew Wilder, you'd be singing "Break My Stride" right now. But this one may okay. may break your stride. Uh, okay, steak stuff. Six hundred. This beehive state keeps busy with the USA's highest birth rate. Beehive state. Beehive state. Highest birth rate. Highest birth rate. It's got to gotta be. It's got to be somewhere in the south. Why do I think it's got to be in the west? I feel like it's got to be the south and the west. New Mexico. New Mexico is wrong. See, had you been smart and logical, you would have thought, where do people have multiple wives? Oh, Utah. See, there you go. Right. So you that would have made right. yes, you're right. You're right. I, I knew I was right. I got I got the west part right. It was just a little further north than I expect. You're right. I should have, but they don't have multiple wives. Polygamy is, I believe, illegal in Utah. Well, I'm just uh, saying there are a lot of Mormons, and Mormons tend to procreate like Catholics. So uh, there you go. I, All under, you have to do is think under, of the Osmonds. And how many of those there are? There you there's go. A, God bless them. Everywhere you yes. look, there's an Osmond turning around, <laughs> smiling at you. 
Uh, another a new one was just born two seconds ago. I'm sure. What do you know? Wow. Welcome to the world, Osmond. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow. See ya.